All right, what's up? Gonna be talking about the, you know, how you can get more mythics today, the roll chances for them, all that sort of stuff. So to start off, um, from these red mythic gem rolls, you have a 0.63% chance of receiving a mythic, you know, any one of the three. Um, and that means around 159 rolls to get a mythic. And if you're looking for a specific mythic, like if I was looking for, um, you know, Zeus out of this trio of mythics, it'd be a 0.31% chance and about 323 rolls to get them. You know, of course, these are all, um, the statistics you know the, in the end the role is you know luck i'd say pretty uh it, it can be dependent on luck right so you might get it in more roles you might get it in less roles it varies but you know on average it'll take that amount of roles it's at that amount of percent um all right next up with uh with all these roles that you got to do to get the uh, to get your desired mythics right um you know what are some ways to get them so you know the most obvious way to get them is of course you know if you do choose to spend money on the game you can get them from the shop, you can get them from uh, from offers, right? If you don't want to spend money on the game, um, or, you know, I just recommend this in general, take advantage of these weekly achievements, right? You get Mythic Gems just from playing the game, from beating levels, buying from seller, um, killing enemies, summoning, uh, and of course, you know, you can also watch a, uh, a lot of ads for your... Um, for your mythic gems and i think a lesser known way to get more mythic gems is with this uh with this mailbox right in this mailbox you can actually get a lot of orbs gems and uh and red gems you just have to watch out for um you know when there is sort of an event where uh where you get them in your mailbox there's no sort of alert when something new appears in your mailbox so you'll just have to check it once in a while like for example you know new year's 2020 right everyone got um 2000 uh 22 mythic gems assuming that they had an account made during that time right that's why i have this two mythic gems left over um there wasn't really any way to know that with notifications unless you would check your mailbox during that time so i just say you know if it is a holiday or every once in a while just check your mailbox to see if there are if there is anything in there and you know you could get a few hundred mythic gems um that's just a nice easy way to uh to get more rolling opportunities um and finally the uh the next method to be able to make more use out of your mythic gems, I'd say, is with re-rolling, right? Now, this is going to be using the uh, Facebook uh, save files, all that sort of stuff. A lot of guides on it on YouTube. Um, you know, you can learn more about it in the unofficial Summoner's Creed Discord. Link to my, uh, link to my profile. Um, of course, you know, just assign the right role there. There are channels to talk about it. Um, and you could really see, you know, the specific steps in doing it um but i don't think i'm going to explain it here just because of all those resources and you know i want to keep this video rather uh rather short in terms of information here all right next up you want to consider if your mythic star values actually matter right and so this means that um you know if you do get a duplicate mythic um you want to see if that will actually make any sort of use in your setup right like for example getting more star levels on egyptian units and susanu won't really make too much of a difference these guys are not here for dps at all boosting their dps won't make much of a difference and you know in the late and end game it won't impact you that much whereas um you know something like amatrasu zeus jiraiya they have a little bit more impact but even then mythics are um mythic star levels like really pale in comparison to the importance of uh, hellhound star levels and levels right getting him at level 400 at three gold stars means that he's boosting around 50k percent uh, more damage whereas you know star level attack percentage boost is capped at um 2400 percent all right next up um you want to know you know the mythic rotation right mythics rotate about every one month uh, only three are available at a time right you can see what mythics are available by looking at this banner here um you know the banner cover sort of like this unit here is always going to be the fire unit um click on it you can see the other mythics available right like for now it's going to be greek gods uh no specific order to it you know mythics are rather new i don't really know what uh what the devs want to do with the uh, the order um so yeah, if you if you just want to know what you have access to, just check the banner here. There's not always going to be a mythic event, but they are spaced out by, you know, about a, a month um, for every three mythics, right? Um, and then finally, you just want to know how much gold it takes to upgrade these guys. 20 million for each mythic. Uh, again, some of them, you know, they're... It, like, the levels don't really um, impact anything other than damage, right? Even on uh, the Greek gods here, it's only stars that impact their damage boost, which means that when you are thinking about levels, you want to prioritize DPS mythics first, you know, um, Zeus, Jiraiya, Amaterasu, you know, Hades, and Poseidon are an option, and then the utility mythics, it'll be a bit less useful on, but um, it can still be strong for stuff like nightmare levels. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I just want to talk about, you know, um, roll odds for mythics, you know, ways to get more gems, and, 
you know some some more useful information about them um if this helped you in any way like subscribe and uh see ya